Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And the first trading month of 2020 is closing out with quite a thud. For the second time this week, the Dow has fallen over 500 points, triggering a new red weekly trade triangle. And we'll get to that in a minute, but we'll start with the S&P 500. Currently down uh, just 1.9% on the week, was actually down over 2% earlier in trading today. With the chart analysis score plus 55, indicating that overall we're still in a long-term uptrend, but we're coming under some weakness and we may be getting close to a sidelines position. Uh, key level to watch this week will be today's low, standing at 3,228.90 currently, or if the S&P 500 closes lower than that, will be your key level to watch. Next week, we'll get a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move to a true sidelines position for the S&P 500. Dollar index, current after having three straight weeks of gains, currently down about four-tenths of a percent on the day, testing that 50-week moving average. Currently, a chart analysis score negative 75, indicating that we are still in a sidelines position for the U.S. dollar, trading at 97.47. Key level to watch moving forward will be 97.08. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a possible short position for the U.S. dollar. Take a look at the Dow. We'll switch to a daily chart here to show you. We've got a new red weekly trade triangle this morning at 28,418.63, indicating a move to a sidelines position for the Dow, pushing the chart analysis score down to negative 70. As you can see here, it also broke below the 50-day mover to average is currently trading at 28,326.06 down 1.8 percent on the day and we'll change back to a weekly chart show you currently down 2.2 percent on the week erasing all of the january gains that the dow had made earlier in trading that's the lowest level that it's had since uh, january of 2016. moving along a uh, key level to watch we don't want to forget that will be 29,373.62 a move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position for the Dow. NASDAQ currently down 1.5% on the week with a chart analysis score plus 70, indicating an overall we are still in a long-term uptrend for NASDAQ. And it's still up on the month over 2%, posting a strong January to start 2020. Currently trading at 9,174.50. Key level to watch would be 9,0804. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move to a sidelines position for the NASDAQ. Gold having a second straight week of gains up about seven tenths of a percent, trading at 1,583.20, with a chart analysis score plus 100 with green trade triangles across the board. Key level to watch would be 1,570. Move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short-term sidelines position for gold. Crude oil continuing its move lower down for the fourth straight week, losing 5.3% on the week, trading close to $51 a barrel, with a chart analysis score negative 100, indicating that we are in a long-term downtrend now for crude oil. Key level to watch would be 57.02 move above that level would issue a green daily trade triangle indicating a move back to a sidelines position so quite a bit of move to go for crude oil we'll wrap it up with bitcoin it's having a pretty strong week although it's down about one percent today but it's still up 11.3 percent for the week bouncing back after losing almost nine uh, percent last week currently trading at 9282.63 with a chart analysis score of plus 70 indicating that we're still in a sidelines position for bitcoin we'll move this to a daily chart to show you did break above that 200 day moving average that we're we were watching is kind of flattened out right around this nine thousand dollar level so key level to watch would be nine thousand five hundred and eighty six fifty a move above that level by Monday would issue a green monthly trade triangle, indicating that we're back in a long position for Bitcoin. With that, every success. Have a great trading day. Hope you have a great weekend, and I'll be back next week to wrap up the markets.